Welcome to a journey through the complex interplay of ideology and democracy in the USA. Let's begin by exploring the rise of a potent force in American society, white Christian nationalism or WCN. This ideology, deeply rooted in the country's history, intertwines religious beliefs with a sense of national identity, often highlighting a perceived racial hierarchy. From the early foundations of the nation, racial and religious identity has played a significant role, shaping the social, political, and cultural landscape. Over the years, WCN has experienced ebbs and flows with significant moments of resurgence aligning with periods of societal change or political upheaval. Today, it continues to hold relevance, influencing debates on everything from immigration and education policies to the very definition of Americanness. Understanding WCN's foundations, ideologies, and its current significance is crucial to grasp the nuances of the American democratic experience. The rise of white Christian nationalism has been both fascinating and controversial. The influence of WCN extends beyond politics, impacting America's social fabric. Imagine a tapestry of diverse threads, each representing different groups and communities. WCN in some ways tugs at these threads, sometimes causing frays as seen during the 2017 Charlottesville rally. This event, marked by racial tension and division, is a stark example of how white Christian nationalism can exacerbate intergroup conflicts. Yet it's important to remember that this tapestry is resilient, always weaving and reweaving itself in response to these challenges. WCN's influence is only one part of a larger picture. There's a delicate balance in play, a dance between the sway of WCN and the broader societal unity, between the pull of specific ideologies and the cohesive power of shared values and mutual respect. As we delve deeper into this intricate interplay, we begin to understand that the influence of WCN on social cohesion presents a complex picture. The classroom has become another battlefield for white Christian nationalism. WCN's narrative in American history teaching has sparked widespread controversy, with some critics arguing that it promotes a skewed version of the nation's past. This narrative often emphasizes the role of white Christian settlers in the founding of America, overlooking the contributions of other cultural and ethnic groups. The result, a history curriculum that many argue is not representative of America's diverse heritage, but it's not just about what's taught, it's also about where. The lines between religion and public education traditionally kept distinct, have become increasingly blurred. Religious teachings, particularly those aligned with WCN, are finding their way into public school classrooms, raising critical questions about the separation of church and state. WCN's influence in education stirs up passionate debates about the nature of American identity. And as these debates continue, one thing is clear. Education is a key battleground in the ongoing struggle over the interpretation of America's past and its future direction. The vision of Americanness proposed by white Christian nationalism stands in stark contrast to America's diverse cultural fabric this ideology, deeply rooted in a blend of religious and racial identity, has had a significant influence on policymaking, particularly in areas like immigration and voter laws. The WCN's narrative frames these policies as safeguards of a perceived traditional American identity, often sparking debates about the essence of Americanness. But what does it mean to be American? 
Is it a shared set of values and principles, or is it defined by race and religion? This is where the role of WCN becomes contentious, especially when it seems to undermine the pluralistic nature of American society. The challenge then is to reconcile the version of national identity proposed by WCN with the diverse realities of the American experience. WCN's vision of Americanness poses challenges to the country's multicultural identity. Public opinion and policy debates are not immune to the influence of white Christian nationalism. The media, in its varied forms, plays a significant role in how this ideology is portrayed and understood. From news outlets to social media platforms, the narratives of WCN are broadcast, disseminated, and often amplified. These narratives shape public opinion, swaying discussions and debates on key policy issues, from immigration to education. The media also stands as a platform for challenge and critique. Journalists, academics, and commentators dissect the tenets of WCN, offering counterpoints and alternative perspectives. They shed light on the contradictions and complexities inherent within this ideology, sparking dialogue and fostering understanding. But the media's portrayal is a double-edged sword with the potential to both inform and misinform, to challenge and to perpetuate. The power of narrative is immense, and in the hands of WCN, it can be a tool for both unity and division. In the realm of public discourse and media, WCN remains a potent force. WCN's growth raises vital questions about the future of American democracy. As a political force, white Christian nationalism has profound implications on our democratic principles. For one, it pushes us to interrogate the very essence of equality. If a society is heavily influenced by a specific religious and racial ideology, how does it ensure fair treatment for all its citizens, regardless of their faith or racial background? The question of participation, too, is thrown into sharp relief. With WCN's emphasis on a particular demographic, what happens to the voices of those who fall outside of it? Are they drowned in the sea of a majority's narrative? Or do they find a place in the chorus of a diverse democracy? Beyond these, WCN challenges another cornerstone of American democracy, the separation of church and state. The intertwining of religious beliefs with political ideologies blurs lines that were meant to safeguard against theocracy. The interplay between democracy and WCN is a topic of ongoing debate and concern. The rise of white Christian nationalism underscores the need for understanding, dialogue, and upholding democratic values. As we've seen, this ideology has left its imprint in various societal aspects, from social cohesion to education from national identity to public discourse, and not least on our democratic principles. It's crucial to remember that, regardless of ideological differences, fostering a resilient democracy is our shared responsibility. In the face of ideological challenges, the resilience of democracy is the key to maintaining a united and diverse America.